Good evening. My name is Catherine Zermani. I live at 160 Mitchell Road, um, and I am the direct abutter to most of this project. I purchased my house in 2010. When I purchased my house, the, the um, executor for the previous owner told me that prior to that subdivision being built, there were not the significant water issues that there currently are. I realize that there's ledge up there. We have significant water issues in that area. So I am most concerned, even with a boulder retaining wall, that it will not mitigate the storm runoff and certainly will not mitigate having a leach field essentially in my backyard because the project does ask for a septic system to be put in along with the leach field that is close to the property line, although it meets the setbacks. In listening to this presentation, I now also have concerns about the way the water will run off the other side of the boulder wall. I appreciate the fact that you came up and looked. It is a very wet area. And from the property lines down, we sit at a disadvantage. My house does not sit as, as much at a disadvantage as my two abutting neighbors to the other side who frequently have water in their backyards after a rainstorm. We all have sump pumps in that area. Unfortunately, we frequently have power outages in that area as well. So if you live in an area with a sump pump and the power goes out, you really have essentially swimming pools in your, in your basements. Um, so I have serious concerns about this. Um, I certainly have seen the houses up on Rosewood. I know Mr. Fristacci does a fabulous job I have somebody who works for me who lives in Blueberry Ridge. They're beautiful houses over there. But I have concerns about allowing an amendment to this subdivision given the current water problems up there in Rosewood and where the water flows. I have, I believe you received a letter from my husband. He has talked to the state plumbing inspector. We have some concerns that they're not required to tie into a sewer line. I understand there is ledge up there. Um, I do understand there is a water line that they're hoping to tie into. Most municipalities require people to tie into water and sewer if it's close enough. There are sewer lines on Woodland, sewer lines on Mitchell Road, and sewer lines in Blueberry Ridge. I think your ordinance says 200 yards to the nearest sewer line. I could be wrong about that. The document's pretty deep and trying to page through it is difficult when you don't have a lot of time. Um, so I do have concerns. I hope that the planning board comes over and looks at the site. Um, I would appreciate your time to do that. I know we're backed up a little bit, but I think unless you get a visual on the site, you really don't have a clear understanding of building a house and a septic and a leach field close to the abutter's property and the issues that it may cause with the water. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hi, I'm Douglas Sargent. I live at 156 Mitchell. That makes me an indirect abut about it. Uh, actually, uh, the first uh, Germani's land is directly behind you. Excuse me, what was your name, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Douglas Sargent. Sorry, thank you, Raymond. And I was present at a meeting a year ago um, regarding this. I sent a letter uh, voicing my concerns about the runoff. And Joe and his engineer worked with me to come up with what he has now. I don't consider it the best of all possible solutions, but I consider it a workable solution. And from my point of view, uh, what he has here satisfies my concerns if it's implemented substantially the way it's shown now. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Excuse me, are you the owner of lot three? I'm trying to find you on the map. No, no. I'm, I would be on Mitchell Road. Mitchell Road. Do you know which you one did. of these that would be? This is the one that's here. U3490. U3490. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. 
Any other members of the public wish to speak? I'm Marilyn Sargent, 156 Mitchell Road, and I have to say I didn't expect to be up here, but um, I really would like somebody else, if there was somebody else independent who could come, and um, I would say I agree with my husband. If this would work, it would be very nice, but I also agree with Mrs. Germani. I just am concerned. We have Lake Sargent in our backyard most of the time, and so um, I would just like there to be an independent person, if possible, to say, oh yeah, this really is going to work, and it's going to not put more water, it's going to take away water. Um, and you can come see our lake at any time. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? Okay, the public comment period is closed. The question before the planning board is one of completeness. Any discussion? Actually, I have a question. May I? May I? Sure. sure. Go right ahead. Um, could you tell me the existing house on Lot Four? What is the sewerage arrangements for that one? Is it mains, or is it on a on an existing? Or what is its current status? All four of these um, lots on Rosewood Drive have septic systems. They all have septic. They have septic systems. When we installed the, uh, or when we built the road in 1991, there was no sewer on Woodland Road, so we had no choice but to do septic systems. Um, and to my knowledge, there's still no sewers in front of Rosewood Drive. We Thank do you. have we do have water, public water, which which I installed in '91 and that's an eight-inch line. Thank you. Anyone else on completeness? All right. Anyone like to make a motion? I'll make a motion. Isa? Um, be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Joseph Frustashi uh, for an amendment to the previously approved subdivision to create an additional lot located at the end of Rosewood Lane be deemed complete. Do I have a second? Victoria? Any further discussion on the issue of completeness? Uh, there are some items listed here. There are possible incomplete items. Do we have information that addresses each of them? Like, uh, a drainage easement for this for the area that's uh, across um, 4A from 4B to 4A. Do we have that easement or draft of that a proposal? Through the chair, I'd be happy to answer the sure. question. Any other completeness items? If there are other ones, um, to answer that question, yes, we have received the staff comments and uh, Maureen's memo to the board and the engineers' comments. I actually have the package here, which uh, we'll be submitting, but I have the package here which addresses all that. And yes, the, we are proposed, we are we're in agreement to provide a 15-foot drainage easement along the back of this lot, which is a, is a very a point well made by the engineer, so that the drainage from here goes onto this lot. There will be a 15-foot easement uh, added to the plan. Yes. Anybody else? Well, what about the financial and technical capability? Uh, there are, and the financial and technical capability, uh, Mr. Fustacci is, I uh, believe you're going to post a, you're going to talk to the town manager. He, he doesn't want to put his personal bank records in public, on, on the public, but he will Sorry. provide information. He's a stand you know, he's a longstanding, you know, citizen of the town. He's been developing for 40 years, and he is, will provide information that I'm sure will satisfy the need. In terms of technical ability, we have a response here. Uh, we have both have a technical team, the surveyor Dan Delfonso, who's a licensed surveyor, uh, an engineering and licensed uh, site evaluator and licensed engineer, and Mr. Vistacci, who has built the project to begin with, would be building the would be building and, and GCing the the improvements that you're looking at here. So I think from a technical standpoint, there's certainly a, a wealth of technical um, background to, to to support that. 
Um, if I might just go on, if just rather than ask the questions, I could get to them immediately. There were several other uh, completeness items that Maureen had pointed out. One was the locust map, and we are proposing that the locust map be added to the final plat. It was left off the plat. We're totally in agreement with that. Uh, item 8C, water service. We, uh, at the time of the application, we had not received our water serviceability letter. We have, we have just received that, I think it was today, and I forwarded a copy to Maureen, so we do have a copy of the water serviceability letter. And, and again, item 10C was the easement. So I think from a completeness standpoint, unless there's something else I'm not aware of, I, I believe that might address it. Unless there are any other items that I'm not aware of. Well, I think those were the only ones on completeness. There were some other items under the discussion session mm -hmm. section. We can get to those now or, or after we do this. All right, so we'll do the completeness first then. Any more discussion on that? So we have a motion that's been seconded. All in favor? That's all six of us in favor, so that's unanimous. Right. Okay, the next issue then, that now that completeness is here, we can discuss any of these other questions. We need to decide whether we do want a site walk on this property too. And a public I'm sorry, I would suggest that we uh, do a site walk. I think it's necessary. Everybody agree on that? Yes. So I think we have the same schedule. Constraints. I don't think we can do one at five o'clock on Friday and another at six. I think we're going to <laughs> They're not close enough together for that. So there's the possibility either of Saturday um, or we would have to give a further extension, I think, of the submissions. So you could ask the applicant to resubmit, but if, you've, if you had your site walk, say, the following weekend, um, it does become a little problematic if you find some things you want the applicant to respond to. They might have to look at going through the public hearing on May 17th and then another tabling in order to give them time to do that. Quite frankly, if you have a public hearing on May 17th, they might have to be tabled anyway. There's no guarantees in any of this. Okay. And I guess the other timing question was the issue Liza raised about the waiver with respect to the stormwater drainage information, um, which may affect timing anyway. But we may have a better idea of that after we do our site walk than we do before. To be fair, um, if you do want to go over the, the town engineer's comment, uh, the problem with the calculations is not that it's a hugely expensive thing for the applicant. It's just it really won't provide you with any better information. Um, the kind of stormwater modeling that gets done does not very well reflect an alteration that is this small. So you could run the calculations now, and then you could add in the impervious surface that comes from this project, and the numbers are going to be virtually identical. So the modeling that's currently available just won't help you with that kind of situation. You have to really work with more of field conditions and, and topography um, rather than the calculations. So let me ask you a what it's question worth. on that. There's something I'm, I'm not quite clear on. Um, I gather that this kind of stormwater calculation was not initially done for the subdivision. Is that right? No, I, I believe that stormwater calculations were done for the subdivisions. Um, drainage, uh, I can go through the file and find them, but Drainage was a very significant issue the first time this came through. It's a very ledgy area. There's not a lot of opportunity for the ground to absorb water and it, it flows places. But if, if we were to determine, it's just a question, if we were to determine, this, as I understand it, this proposed amendment opens the subdivision back up. Mm -hmm. So if we were to determine that the drainage in this subdivision is inadequate, mm -hmm regardless of whether there is a new house constructed, we could determine not to permit a new house because already the drainage is inadequate. Is that correct or not correct? I think you could make that finding. However, you would want to have sufficient technical information that backs up that finding. And the problem, well, 
the, the, the status at this point.